just there one second because I'm just oh, filming here. And I'll be done in just 10 seconds, right? There you go. My name is Karina Wakanson. Um, and before giving the microphone to Hannah, uh, one of my colleagues, I want to say welcome to all of you who are here and who support us in different ways to make the work happen. I also want to say a big thank you for those who are not here today, but who are in our mind and heart from all over. Uh, a lot of people who support. This day is also uh, for me and for us a very, very, very special day since I'm happy to announce that yesterday we created uh, the International Institute for Psychiatric Drug Withdrawal. Uh, and all of the speakers will be included uh, in the faculty uh, together with also some other people you will hear more about uh, today or in the future. And you will have information about it. So then uh, I handle the word to you, Hannah. Thank you. Thank you. So welcome everyone to this scientific symposium on psychopharmaceuticals risks and alternatives. Here we are in this lovely Congress Hall in this building, which is in, in Swedish is called the People's House. The planning of the People's House started in the end of the 19th century when the worker movement needed a central location for its activities. They wanted it to be a natural meeting place large enough to accommodate all Gothenburg's labor unions and have room for several different activities. Meetings that created the future, built relationships and transformed the lives of thousands of people <coughs> has happened here. That history we will let this symposium be a part of today. The symposium also has its history, though it does not go quite that far back. It has been 10 months since we began planning it, but there have been many events before which proceeded and built up to it. One late night last week, I found myself thinking about what a journey it has been, it has become for me and for our organization. Exactly one year ago, we held the three-day film festival at the big theater, Stora Teatern, here in Gothenburg, where the themes, which will also be the focus today, emerge from people's stories, film, art, and music. More than 200 people came from all over the world, and as we all know, art can really move and transform us. After the film festival, we ask ourselves, who did we not reach? How can we continue try to balance the dominance of the biological model within psychiatry that seems to too often refer to human suffering as an isolated incident? Detached from context, background, family history, life events, society and culture which too often and fast also is followed by psychiatric diagnosis and pres prescriptions of pharmaceuticals, often for life. We did the film festival and initiated this symposium to challenge this common course of events and bring together a group of researchers, practitioners, people with lived experience of being labeled with a psychiatric diagnosis, their family members and many others to try to create a different future with broader and more holistic perspectives and options. And reflecting upon my own journey when I was thinking that late night about what led me to this day, 
I remember myself as a little girl watching and experiencing my own father becoming crazy. How confusing and difficult that was for us and the impact it had on our lives. And how he now is seen by many as a typical chronic mental patient living most of his life in different institutions. And talking about the importance of our own history, I also want to mention my mother as a very important part of my personal history. How she bravely started to go to therapy as a young woman and how she made me understand how helpful and even life-saving that can be. So this day is a continuation. It has its roots in human interactions, experience from practice, ordinary life knowledge and research. It's an opportunity to open up to perspectives, experiences and research findings which have been mostly ignored and even neglected. Today we are here to listen, learn and discuss alternatives to traditional psychiatry. We are more than 220 people here today from 13 different countries. We are proud to host notable leaders and pioneers who often bravely went against the wind and paid personal prices for persistently following the truth that emerged from their own experiences and research. We have invited these people who are dear to our organization to present and share their knowledge. And as you can see from the program, it's a very busy day. We hope that this day will lead to future discussions, dialogue and sharing of knowledge.